Hello and welcome to another Intro to Programming tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to be exploring how we can take input through a form element and use arithmetic operators with them. So for this purpose I'm creating a Windows form application and once our form gets loaded we will going to be putting together our Windows form application. In this form application, we will going to be taking a couple of inputs and then we will going to write our code on the button, which will going to be our event handler and the output will going to be generated in another text box. So just like one of the other programs that we have done in the past where we took the user's first name and last name and we concatenate it by using the event on the button, that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here as well. So to get started, we're going to be bringing in our form elements. On the form we would like to put a text box alongside a label so and that will going to be our first input. So here's our text box and here's our label for that text box. Then we're going to work with other sets of labels with it. So I'm going to do a Control C, Control V, so that I can generate other labels. And then I'm going to be doing the same for the text box. Then we're going to be working with a button that will going to be our event handler. And we will going to change the labels for our text for our for uh, the text for our labels. This will going to be our first number. This will going to be our second number. And this will going to be the result of the two. The button will going to have a text called calculate sum. Now calculate sum is not visible all at the same time so let me increase the size of my button. Now another trick that I showed you in earlier tutorials is that you can pretty much select all the objects like this and then you can move them around in one shot. That way you don't have to worry about moving individual items. We will also going to give them different names than their default names and we're going to be using the same VB conventions we talked about. So this will going to be LBL num1, which is my first label. Then my num2 label will going to be LBL num2. My result label will going to be LBL result. My text boxes will going to be txt num1, txt num2. And my last box will going to be txt result. Now after changing the labels and after changing the names, let's write the code behind the scene. So we're going to be double clicking on the button. And let me zoom in so that we can see the code. But before I go to the actual code, we also need to be changing the name of our button. So we're going to be calling it btn sum. And now we're going to be double clicking on the code. As you can see behind the scene that the code is smaller. So we're going to be increasing the size here. So that is readable. And here you can see that this is the button and this is the code behind the scene. And now in this code behind the scene, we will going to be writing the logic of taking the input from the two text boxes and throwing it in the third one. Now this is exactly what I showed you in the earlier tutorials that if you've seen in algebra, when you're taking values from multiple items and putting it in an item, that's exactly the logic we're going to be following here again. So we have a text box that's called txt result. And of course, as I told you in the last tutorials, that it is the text property of the text boxes which holds the data. 
So we're going to be taking the num1.txt and we're going to be adding num2.txt and we're basically taking the sum of these two and putting it as a text for the result box. So let me run this program and let's take the input from the first text box and input from the second text box and click calculate sum and to our surprise you notice that instead of calculating the sum even though we've used the plus sign which is the correct arithmetic operator for addition it rather concatenated the two the reason it did that because the default data type for the text box is string so whenever you put a plus sign between two strings as we have seen in one of our earlier tutorials it always tends to concatenate so what we need to do extra over here is we need to tell Microsoft Visual Basic compiler that to treat each one of the entities as numbers so in order to do that we will going to make some changes here we're going to be calling upon VB's built-in function B VB has a built-in functionality called convert and when you call upon convert it lets you convert it into certain data types so here for example I would like to call upon convert so I, this is a built-in object dot and then I have two so I have multiple integer options I have integer base 16 which basically 16 bits which is 2 bytes or I have a 4 byte long integer or I have an 8 byte long integer so either one of them will going to be just fine for this particular application so I've got this convert dot to in 32 that's exactly what I'm putting on with each one of them as a result now I'm gonna run it again it's the same application with one minor change I'm gonna enter the same numbers 2 and 3 when I calculate some now now it adds them together so this is one of the built-in features which you have to apply in the graphical user interface environment because the data taken in the text boxes is considered to be of type string hope you have enjoyed this tutorial catch you in the next one thank you for watching